Hey, what's up guys? Ricardo with Vape and Validate, and I've been wanting to do this review for weeks now. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the UL Amulet. So I've had this little device for over two weeks now and it's been a very mixed experience but before we get into that let's check out what comes in the box. Alright guys so here's the packaging for the UA amulet. You got this little QR code slash void sticker on top so just go ahead and peel that off, slide the box out. Uh, this is the first box I've seen from them that isn't cardboard, it is that good old plastic so just pull off that top. Then you have a card showing you how to take out the pod. Then you have the FDA uh, warning card. And then your user manual right there. And silica, as always. Go ahead and throw that away. So this is the device itself. Go ahead and pull it out here. And USB cable. So yes, that is why I was showing you literally every flyer in the box is because there is nothing else in this box. It is mainly paraphernalia, uh, fucking pamphlets. So there's there's that uh, USB cord. So this is the device itself. Uh, turn it on and off. Five fast clicks. If you want to set the date, it's three clicks to get to the menu and then there will be the date right there if this would focus and there are two capacitive buttons on either side I don't know if I'll be able to show those but everybody keeps calling this a touch screen it is not a touch screen it's just two capacitive buttons on either side the only thing you can set on here is the time and the date so just keep that in mind and this button is only used to get to the menu turn it off and on and to activate the watch itself. Now to get it out of the strap, there's a button on the side here. Push that, pull it up, and there's the unit. To get the pot out, simply pull on that. It is just this little tiny back piece on the back of the device. To fill it up, it's one of the simple uh, kind of silicone plug ones. Pull that up. Take whatever bottle you're going to use. In my case, I am using Pachamama Salts Fuji 25 milligram. This stuff is quite delicious. So just take the cap off the bottle, put the bottle straight in, and give a squeeze. Now it is uh, slightly tinted. It is a very, very light tint, so it is very easy to see your uh, liquid level inside of here, so you don't have to worry about that. And then all you do is pop it on here, and um, the device does have the button, but like I said, it's just to turn it off and on and to activate the screen. This is simply an auto draw device, so you just pull on it to get a hit. Now that everything's out of the box and it's all set up, I'll show you how to put the strap on. <laughs> so all you do, take it, it's kind of like an Apple Watch, so all you do, put this down, find whatever hole you're going to use, push it in, and you slide the strap forward. That's it. So let's get into the pros and cons on this. One, it's very convenient. And two, it actually works well as a watch. That's about it. So cons wise, yes, this thing does have good flavor. But that's simply because it has the shortest mouthpiece on any pod I've ever looked at. and the coil is right next to it. So yes, of course you're gonna get good flavor. The coil is right in front of your face. The unfortunate part about that is if you take long mouth to lung hits like I do, it gets very uncomfortably warm. In fact, I've had several people try this out and they told me that they almost burned their lip because it was so hot. Second, yes, this thing is very small and very compact. But because of that, it only has a 370 mAh battery. And in my usage, I need at least 500 mAh to get me through the majority of the day. And that's on a pod system that doesn't have a screen killing my battery throughout the day. But my biggest concern with this device is the price tag. It's $50 from everywhere I've seen it. And that is including shops, which it is nice to finally see consistent pricing online and in stores. 
but it's fifty dollars and it's nowhere near the quality of vape that I get from the Caliburn, which is also made by you well. And the fact that this thing only comes with one pod really bothers me. Every single pod system I've paid more than $25 for has at least come with two pods or two coils if it's a coil based pod system, including the Caliburn, which is again is $30 and that came with two pods. If this thing had the exact same hit as the Caliburn and was $50, I would have no problem. If it was exactly the way it is right now and it was only $10 cheaper than the Caliburn, I would probably not have a problem. But the fact that this is almost double the price of the Caliburn, has nowhere near the quality of vape, only comes with one pod, it's really annoying. And really the only thing you're getting with this is the gimmick that it pops into a fake Apple Watch strap. Cool. The way I've been using this unit mainly is as a watch. And sometimes when I'm looking for my other units or I happen to leave the house without one of my other units while I'm running errands and stuff, then I'll hit it. But most of the time I'm actually using this device is when customers walk in the store and I tell them, hey, do you want to see the dumbest thing in vaping? And they agree that it is. The only real use case I see with this device is someone who's like a gym rat and you know, you're wearing baggy shorts, you don't want to carry around a mod um, or even a pod system for some reason and you, you need something to you know, be easy to carry around, then maybe this, but it has no water resistance and it has no sweat resistance. It's only dust resistant. So if you sweat on this or if you get water on it, you're completely fucked. You have to go buy a new one. So if you are a gym rat and you want something like this, just be careful walking around with it. Cause like I said, you might fry it out just by sweating on it. Otherwise, if you're not a gym rat, then if you just love super gimmicky vape stuff or you're constantly losing your pod systems, then I guess if you're willing to pay the price premium, this is worth it. But if you're just looking for a great pod system that actually works, I'm going to recommend the Caliburn. It's almost half the price. It has a better hit, longer battery life, and it comes with two damn pods out of the box. But yeah, guys, that's all we got for you today. As always, if you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments down below or email us at vapeinvalidate at gmail.com and you might just see them in a future video. But if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit like and make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our content to help you make decisions towards a better vaping lifestyle. I'm Ricardo with Vape and Validate. We'll see you next time. Nobody's smoking cigarettes on my watch. <laughs> <coughs> it's, it still got me. <laughs> it still got me the second time. <laughs>